Hey everyone, this is Bazooka. Welcome to one of our videos and welcome to Random Ramblings. Sorry there wasn't one on Monday. I just a wave of nothing hit me. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But regardless, here is the video. Today, of course, it is my thoughts. My, my my deeper thoughts on the panic attack, now that I have spent a little bit of time with it. Uh, at least a little bit more than when I did the leave lo loadout. So, okay, the panic attack. It is a primary for the engineer and a secondary for the soldier, the heavy, and the pyro. So it is a multi-class item, and uh, uh, the stats are... It has a... 34% faster reload time, so meaning you can load up shots faster, so, like, you know, you're loading up shots. Uh, the fire rate increases as your health decreases. So, the, the lower your health goes, the faster you'll be able to fire. And, uh, holding fire will allow you to load up to four shells, meaning it's a burst damage kind of weapon, kind of like the Beggar's Bazooka. The downside is... Along with your fire rate increasing as your health decreases, your, the weapon spread also increases as your health decreases, meaning it's going to get a wider and wider spread, meaning it's going to be even less accurate and it's going to be harder to deal damage when your health is down in the dumps next to the, the, I don't know, other useless items that I can't really think about. But, so, the panic attack. Um, first and foremost, you guys already know my general... You know, like, you know, my initial reaction to the panic attack uh, when I used it in the, uh, in the, the, the loadout for the soldier. And, um, still hasn't really quite changed. I personally feel like the panic attack isn't that good. Uh, at least I don't like it. Um, and, uh, some of you guys may have seen Star's video on it. Uh, I kind of have to echo his thoughts on the panic attack. Personally, I use a shotgun as a soldier to, you know, back me up to help me finish off some people or, you know, to use it as, you know, like a, a last resort when I really don't have, uh, when I don't have a rocket in my rocket launcher and just like, okay, I, I have to finish off this guy, uh, the reload will take way too long because I have to load up several before I feel confident that I can finish him off, so... I need to use my shotgun to, to finish him off with uh, the six shots that it has in it. Uh, and the panic attack has no shots in it to begin with. Uh, because it's like the beggar's bazooka. It's, it's a burst, it's, like I said, it's a burst damage secondary. It's, it's, you know, you just load up four shots and then bam, 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 bam. Uh, or, you know, bam, 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 bam. Or, you know, bam, 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 bam. Because you're being damaged in the middle of firing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, 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 I just have a hard time using it because, uh, when I click the pan- Like, when I click a shotgun, like, I aim and click while using the shotgun, I expect it to hit as soon as I press- As soon as I press the, the mouse one. Uh, but that doesn't happen with the panic attack. I have to load up first and then it fires. And, uh, that delayed kind of aiming is just not for me. Uh, however- I suppose, uh, uh, I've, I've watched two different videos, and they're both kind of on opposite ends. I've watched Star's video, and I've watched Muzelic, or, I feel horrible because I pretty much watched this, like, not too long ago, like, at least within the day, uh, but, uh, Muzelic's video was kind of the opposite. He actually really liked the panic attack, it's just you have to play very differently, and I agree with him, you do have to play very differently. Uh, he went with a very interesting loadout of the rocket jump, like using the rocket jumper and just gunning people down with the panic attack. And I find that to be a very interesting way to do it. Uh, of course, it works for him because he's very good at rocket jumping, so he, he's able to actually, you know, not kill himself with rocket jumps. Or, you know, like, the. I'm, I'm terrible. You guys know this. I'm. I. I can only do half decent rocket jumps. I can't. I can't rocket jump across the map like uh, Uzelic or Star can. So. Uh, but yeah, uh, he. He basically used it as his primary. He basically kind of turned into like a rocket jumping engineer, uh, and it kind of worked out for him pretty well. Uh, it's just. I don't know. I. I. I just. I can't use it. Um, but I mean. 
Okay, so I, I've kind of talked about like the, the bad, pretty much. I so, like I can't use it. It doesn't have any shots to start with it, and you have to do like a delayed aim, or like you know, like you have to aim ahead with a shotgun, which is kind of weird. But uh, I suppose a good upside to it is it's very burst damagey. Like the lower your health is, the faster you're gonna fire. I mean, it's it's gonna. Do less damage, like from mid to long range, but up close you're gonna be dealing a ton of damage, um, especially if you're at lower health because you fire much faster and uh, you'll be able to just get in all those shots. The, like if you're loading up to four shots, you're gonna get all of them almost instantaneously if you're not already dead by then, and uh, you'll be able to most likely, if you're in close enough range to someone, you'll most likely finish them off. Uh, especially since, you know, weapon spread isn't always, you know, exact, it's all random, so who knows, maybe you'll get really lucky with the rep weapon spread, and you'll, like, most of the shots will still be generally in the center, so that would be pretty funny to see. Uh, but, I don't know. It's, it's my personal opinion, I just, I can't use the panic attack. Uh, in fact, I was planning to get... Uh, gameplay footage of all the four classes that could use the panic attack, I couldn't do it. Uh, I was getting kind of fed up with it. Uh, it was just, it wasn't being very fun uh, playing with the panic attack. Uh, and I just, I can't, I'd have to have like weeks and months to adapt to how the panic attack works because, like I said in the, in like the video, in one of my videos, like after the soldier loadout, uh, it's like the Beggar's Bazooka, or in fact, I think I even said it in the leave a loadout, but it's like the Beggar's Bazooka, except it's not a hit scan. So, uh, the Beggar's Bazooka isn't a hit scan, so I I'm okay with like the rockets not firing when I press mouse one, because that's it's kind of it's kind of fine, it's like a little bit delayed, and uh, I guess. I guess it helps me because I picked up the Beggar's Bazooka pretty early on when I was playing TF2, but um, the shotguns are hit scan. As soon as you click, they will hit something if it's in, you know, if the weapon is supposed to hit it, it hits it. And the, the, the delayed firing, like just getting one shot off of the, uh, the panic attack is just not going to do it for me. Because you have to load it up, even though they did, thanks, like, thankfully to the weapon's uh, benefit, they increased the reload time, or the reload speed. But still, that time for when you first click to start loading it up and then firing, that is a big enough jarring experience for me to the point where I can't really do very well with it. Um, and it's just, it's very similar to the Beggar's Bazooka. But to the point where I don't think people, at least not a whole lot of people, will be able to use it. Uh, it seems like a kind of, like, honestly, I feel like it's going to be kind of a skill-intensive weapon because you have to, it, it's a lot harder to hit things than with the Beggar's Bazooka because, you know, it's it, the Beggar's Bazooka is a rocket launcher. It fires, you know, not a hit scan projectile and then... It explodes, so it does splash damage. But the panic attack is none of those things. It is, you know, I hate to sound repetitive, but it is a hit scan. It will hit things instantaneously. And if you miss that shot, you miss it. You won't get anything else out of it. Um, but who knows? Uh, maybe my opinion might change later on, like months and months after, uh, as I get potentially more and more loadouts to use it in, maybe I'll get better, maybe I'll just use it for kicks and giggles at some point, and then I'll just kind of, you know, sit down and try and learn when and how to use this item effectively, but for the moment, personally, it's, uh, it's kind of down there in the weapons that I will most likely never touch ever again unless, uh, unless I have to as a loadout. And that is not to say that it is a bad weapon, it's just I don't like it. Uh, for the time being, but who knows? Maybe, maybe my opinion might change. So, uh, but is there anything that I can really think that would go along with the panic attack? Um, uh, 
the soldier loadout, the soldier leave loadout that I had, the sneaky bastard, um, that could actually work out as a decent loadout. Uh, personally, even though he said to not use the black box, I think that if you were to use the black box, it would help you out a little bit so that way you'll be able to regain some health in between when you're feeling like, you know, you can't really take on so many people at once. You just pull out the black box, fire, and uh, get some health back and run away. Or, you know, kind of retreat while firing shots behind you. Uh, but that's, that's possibly just me. Um, uh, another comment that I got on my uh, leave loadout com in the comments below, I, uh, I, someone told me that it would be better to use with the pyro or the engineer, a combat engineer, because both of them have uh, damagers, like, you know, uh, help, ways to deal with damage other than just using uh, their primaries, or, you know, the, the shotgun itself, because the pyro has this fire, so you can, you know, set something on fire, that, that kind of urgency to kind of finish, or, like, get away, helps the pyro so that way you can like you know load up some shots and bam 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 and then they're possibly dead or the engineer especially if he's a combat engineer he can lay down a mini sentry load up some shots and then uh they either have to deal with the, the engineer or they have to deal with the mini sentry the mini sentry is probably you know the more important thing because that deals constant damage but engineer can do burst damage and potentially take you out in almost an instant because you know you're too busy dealing with his distraction and uh, I never really got to try that out uh, as you can see I uh, in the video I only did engineer uh, normal engineer and normal excuse me I only did normal engineer and normal uh, soldier and I think it kind of did okay but eh. It, w it wasn't nearly as good as it could have been. But regardless, uh, and for the heavy, I don't, I don't really know what would, uh, how well that would go over. I mean, it could, it could work especially well if you're trying to be like, you know, a fat scoot as a heavy, you know, use the panic attack, especially since he has like, you know, he has the most health out of any class. Uh, uh, he can, he can be able to sustain damage a little bit better, so using the panic, panic attack with him might not be so bad, uh, but that is just my opinion. I don't really know how well it would work with him. Uh, but regardless, uh, though, that's kind of my general thoughts on the panic attack. Uh, again, you guys already knew how I felt about it, pretty much, but uh, yeah. So, uh, I mean, again, just to reiterate, I don't think it's a bad weapon. I truly do not believe that there is a bad weapon in TF2. I just think that there are weapons that people don't like. And uh, the panic attack for me is just one of those weapons. I just... It's not for me. Uh, but it's good to see that some people actually did take a liking to the panic attack. And it's not just, uh, you know, a one-off item that no one uses. Like, uh... <clears throat> the shot of a volcano fragment. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So... I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Next time, uh, I might throw in a video on Thursday, like just a, a random ramblings. Uh, who knows? Uh, but if I don't throw in a random ramblings on Thursday, then you can be sure that there will be a leave a loadout on Friday. So have a great day and a good night. Mm, bye.